Hey everybody, thank you for joining me on this another video and today is a really special video. We're gonna look at some woke PNZ TikToks and just some woke videos. We're gonna see how, see how woke-ism has uh, crept into our society. No, God, please, no, 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 no! It kind of drains my soul, but just for you guys, I'm just going to take a look at these videos, these woke videos, which are made by Papua New Guineans and reacting to it and giving my honest and undividing truth about these videos. Let's take a look at this uh, first one. Your first argument was that Papua New Guinea is a Christian nation and that's why you can't accept the LGBTQ plus community. And then I went ahead and created a video to debunk this statement. And you're still yet to prove me wrong about this point. So then you go ahead and try to throw in the fact that I live in Australia and I shouldn't have an opinion on what happens in Papua New Guinea. Because yes, I don't truly understand what the struggles of Papua New Guineans mm. have to go through in their daily lives. However, can you possibly imagine being part of the LGB community and living in a country where they will most likely kill you if they find out about your sexuality. You ever think about what type of struggles they have to go through? At the end of the day, this mentality is you denying someone of their human rights. Now, let me propose this. Imagine if Papua New Guinea was an inclusive country. Society accepted people part of the LGBTQ plus community. Everyone got along. Imagine how productive business would be. I know so many people who are part of the LGBTQ plus community who are intelligent. They bring perspective to conversations. They bring change. PNG wants to further themselves in development and that's fine. But you accepting the fact that someone has a different sexual preference will not hinder the country from developing further. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You being inclusive in society will not stop the country from building new infrastructure, building new schools. All the daily struggles that Papua New Guineans have to go through, the LGBTQ plus community are part of that whole. Even if I lived in Papua New Guinea, I think I would still have the same perspective and I still would put out the same message. Yes, there are people like that living among us in Papua New Guinea now that feel and identify themselves as the opposite sex. Now, you, you might feel like the opposite. You might identify as the opposite sex, but that doesn't change the fact. And you said that um, Papua New Guinea is an educated country. Yes, it's an educated, educated country. Yes, it's true. Okay. Using that education, you see, basic biology, okay? XX chromosomes that gives female woman the features of a woman. And XY chromosomes gives and develops into a, you will have a male feature and a man's body. Nobody in Papua New Guinea going around trying to help them in, on a daily basis and try to kill them. You can't just lecture us and tell us to accept these people. We have values too. We have cultures, we have beliefs. Pow! Oh! You're forcing us to accept this LGBTQ plus community. Sadly, their minds are not right. These people need deliverance, okay? They think and feel and identify as the opposite sex. But that doesn't change the fact that they are biologically a male or biologically a female. There is a really serious mental Ill illness here, okay? <sighs> My God. And our brother here that's uh, trying to defend us publicly. Yes, it's true. See, look here. Can you guys just stop? Going around, did going around go so kind of come back and so kind of total claw issue straight. Okay, the issue is we don't accept this kind of behavior men marrying men, women marrying women. No, 
It's not part of our culture. It's not part of our heritage. It's never part of our religion. That wasn't part of us. The point here is, we have our own cultures. We have our own beliefs, our own traditions. And this type of things wasn't present in the past. Now it's trying to come up as and all these influences and TikTok generation people are trying to push this bad shit crazy woke ideology. Okay. Alright, let's get let's let's go on to the next video. Texting a girl is simple. Don't be corny, cheesy, okay. or rude. Answer back fast, but not too fast. Don't ask questions like, what are you doing and how's your day going? Hmm. Ask detailed questions, specific questions, okay? And double tapping her message doesn't mean she has to reply to that. So if you react to her message and she doesn't message you again, it's because there's nothing to say. You deaded the combo. So it's on you to start it over again. Simple. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. You have to understand it, lady. We're not your girlfriend. We're not asking detailed questions. But guys, I, I never heard of a guy that asked detailed questions to a lady. As a guy, I don't ask detailed questions. I just ask, how are you? Okay, 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 you're good. Okay, you're good. What are you doing? Um, I never knew a dude ask detailed questions. Understand? He's not your girlfriend, okay? Move, move on, move on, guys, move on. Who's this now? Why is our brother trying to defend? Thank you to this brother for offering oh. this perspective that really did make me think. Pause it right there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? This brand here again, guys. Um. Um, I think she reacted to a video that was done by this TikTok influencer or something and this other brother from Papua New Guinea tried to defend it and um, let, let's just see what she has to say. But I want to offer a different perspective on the conversation. This is just my opinion, but I don't necessarily think we need to be a developed nation in order to have these conversations and start accepting the fact that there are people in Papua New Guinea who are part of the LGBTQ plus community. Papua New Guinea might not necessarily be a developed nation. However, we are an educated nation. And I think that should really be the drive to having these conversations. A lot of these big movements started in an environment where a lot of the actions that these people were doing were seen as unlawful and weren't necessarily accepted in society. For example, interracial relationships, you procreating, see? black people, getting you an see? education, okay, learning okay. to Possibly read. Ready. Possibly ready. And obviously Let's get to the issue here, okay? Like I said already, you are born a male or female. That's, that's, that's basic biology. You look at um, XX chromosome and XY chromosome. XX is for girls, um, is for females, and XY is for males. Now, I'm not a scientist, but that's basic biology. And now she's uh, going up away from the issue. Come on. Okay, let's get straight to the issue. We, we, we don't accept this kind of behavior in our culture. And it has never been practiced in our entire history of Papua New Guinea ever since. In our culture and our, and our religion too. Our religion, Christianity, is tied to our belief, you go out there in Papua New Guinea and you ask anybody on the streets, do you believe there's a God or do you believe big man stop? I believe, yes, I don't go to church, but I do believe there's big man stop. And this type of, it's, it's integrated into our society already. And it's part of us. And you <laughs> trying to push this woke ideology and forcing us to accept your immoral way of living. I don't like where this is going. Flee being openly gay. However, without these courageous acts, we would not have the freedom that we do today. Courageous acts, guys. <laughs> You 
serious? Oh, fighting for your country in the World War II, Fuzzy was in Angels, it wasn't courageous. Uh, being a gay or lesbian is courageous than um, fighting in World War II and being a Fuzzy was an angel. <sighs> God. We cannot deny that there are Papua New Guineans who are part of the LGBTQ plus community and do want to be accepted into society. It's such an unnecessary battle to have to hide who you actually are. So that's um, LGBTQ. So lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, um, queer and plus, that's some kind of thing. You know, you can be a Christian and have your beliefs, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to put someone else down for living a different lifestyle to you. I mean, clearly she's not a Christian and she's talking about Christian not putting people down. Um, in a way, yes, but in this case, um, we know that in the Bible, I'm not going to bring the Bible up, but I'm just going to say a little fact here. In Leviticus, it talks about not um, having immoral um, homosexual sin, um, and those people that were practicing homosexual was in Sodom. And you know what happened to Sodom, right? The brimstone fire came down and burned that place up. And... And it's true. And as far as Christians, um, we can see we're not putting them down. We are we're not condemning them. We are condemning what they are practicing. Okay, there's a there's a difference. Or condemning their sin that they are doing. If you're talking about, uh, if you if we're saying we are taking a Christian perspective on this. Anyways, that's just my opinion. But once again, we are a very educated nation and we can talk about these things. Yes, we are educated. That's that's true. Basic biology. Okay. Two genders. Male, female. Let's take a look at another one. Belt of vaccine. And that's a medical vaccine. Belt of vaccine. And that's how we raise good people, by the belt. See, I actually respected your perspective until that part. You want to celebrate a culture where you think physically hitting your kids is the way to raise good people. Does that actually teach your children that physical abuse is the way to go? And we wonder why there's so much domestic violence in Papua New Guinea. Because people like you continue to raise the idea that it's okay to physically hit your kids. That is just the default punishment. There is no other way to go about it, right? I'm sorry, I don't agree with your perspective at all. You raise good people by treating them with respect. And that starts from your children. And I truly hope that the next generation of Papua New Guineans don't continue to listen to this ideology that this is part of our culture. Physical abuse is not part of any culture. And we certainly should not be encouraging people to continue living like this. Especially when we see the repercussions of what physical abuse does to a child and who they end up becoming as adults. It's not a Western woke movement. It's breaking generational cycles that continue to destroy children. That's a lie right there. Uh, physical abuse wasn't part of any culture. You, you just look in the history books, okay? What happened? Violence, abuse, slavery, all these other things. It's part of human culture. That's where she got it wrong right there. Um, abuse was part of our culture. The human race, not only Papua New Guinea, the whole of human race. What Stephen Kilage is saying here is sticky more and bite them on, but then he wouldn't, he wouldn't like beat them until they bleed. They, they're just kids. That's how he's trying to discipline them. Stick him all over, line him. They, they don't know anything yet. All right? Gender is how a person feels on the inside. Some people feel like a boy. Some people feel like a girl. Some people feel both like a boy and a girl. Some people feel like neither, they just feel like a kid. Some people might call themselves non-binary. Each person is in charge of their own gender. What? Th what? 
but it doesn't make any sense. Oh my God. It's, okay. I want to date younger men because a lot of guys that are older, they're like in papa mode and I want to get a chance to do me a little. So when it's time for me to be grandma, like I'm ready. I'm just not ready now. Lady, when are you ready? You're like 40, you're like almost, you're almost 50. And you don't want to date men that your own age, they're like in papa mode? Yes, they're in papa mode because they're at that age. You want to live that life again, being promiscuous and leaving? <sighs> Let me watch this live video. Sorry, troll, Ushla man. Me saw us and I had plenty of people in New York. Let's talk. I said, me probably not accepting LGBTQ and whatnot. Um, I have some close, like some close friends and extended relatives who are under that category. Especially the people in New York, you probably not have right law. And individually, as a citizen, you probably not have right law, but sing out law or line or even bagara more what to what because. They're also human beings. Yes, they are human beings, but they are, their mind is not right, okay? Biologically, you are born. As I said this, I said, I'll say it again. Come on, man. You are born. A man is born by XY chromosomes, and a female is born by XX chromosome. That makes you have features of a female. You may feel and identify as the opposite sex, but that doesn't change the fact. Biologically, you're a male. <sighs> Although I'm all family member of the sample line, or pain in the sample line. How you blog us kind of video, public, sing on talem, recording them, what to what. This is just embarrassing. Like, no assembly, blah. Call yourself citizens of a Christian and democratic nation, but yet you play act the same. You plan even understanding one something you plan talk talk on and stop. So enough. Okay, if you watch the full context of that uh, video, um, he was really he was actually that guy was actually like happy when people were shouting at him and telling him to do that uh, walk that he was uh, you know styling himself walking down it like catway type catwalk type. Okay, see, Christian Democratic Nation. Yes, you go. I, I, I bet you're not a Christian. You could try to read the Bible and see what the Christian value, what the Christianity stands in this type of case. And you trying to force us and lecture us on how to believe and accept this kind of immoral acts. And we're not, we're not the ones forcing you to turn to our faith and accepting our cultural beliefs you know, our systems of living. You're the one forcing us to accept this LGBTQ plus bad shit crazy woke ideology. Damn! No, no, no harm in there. Just look at the video again. He's, 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 he's loving it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. See, see. See, he's smiling. Look at him. Look at him. He's, smi he's smiling. See? There's no harm in there's there's nothing. You just you just overreacting, lady. Okay? What are you saying, lady? You're saying our belief and our religion and our cultural belief and our customs and our traditions are not worthy, are not right. In a biblical perspective, this is a Christian country, and we are so Christianity is integrated into our cultural beliefs and our systems. You go on the streets, you ask a normal person that doesn't go to church but believes that there is a God, and those type of beliefs and systems are still with us, and you're saying that that. And you're trying to say that we must be progressive and accept these things. We must stick to what we believe in our culture is. You don't just go into some people's house and tell them 
how to run their house. You can't. We don't come to Australia and tell you guys how to run Australia. We don't do that. We're not forcing you, shoving good news and the Bible down your throat and telling you, accept it, accept it. But you guys are pushing this woke ideology down on our throats. That's so wrong. You guys, I'm happy. I'm happy to de debate you guys anytime if you want to debate. Well, that's uh, enough for today. And if you want, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and share this video with a friend. And if you want me to cover more of these uh, PNZ's woke as TikToks, um, comment down there and let me know. And uh, I'll I'll make sure I do it.